What is up you guys? Happy Friday. Welcome back to another vlog. Today's vlog is low-key a pretty exciting one. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a day in the life quarantine edition. As you guys already know what it is, we're all just like out here practicing social distancing, everything going on with coronavirus and stuff like that. So I wanted to take this video right here to just kind of break down and really show you guys what I have been doing during this special time that again we're all going through and stuff. It's Friday and despite the fact it being Friday, I actually have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm going to start off the vlog with the at-home workout. Just something really easy and light that a lot of you guys can do at home with little to no equipment needed get a nice little sweat going and then after that i'm going to take you guys what it really is like or what i've been doing for my work from home days and because it is friday and it's like at the end of the week i definitely wanted to end the week on a very productive note so i'm actually going to share with you guys how i clean my shoes a ton of my shoes are super dirty and i've been kind of putting it off for the longest time so i want to definitely do that today and we just have a ton of other stuff as well so nonetheless super jam-packed vlog in today Today's quarantine vlog slash day in the life video. I'm super excited to be partnering up with Lululemon on this video right here. Today we're gonna hit shoulders and abs. Super light, easy workout. Like I said, little to no equipment needed. And I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys this Lululemon drip that's underneath this hoodie right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. And before we start, I just kind of wanted to, you know, check in with you guys and hopefully you guys are doing well during this time. Like I said, it's just such a special and interesting time that we're all in. So I hope that all of you guys are doing well. You know, you're keeping yourself busy and hopefully this vlog right here even though this intro was literally like 10 minutes long hopefully this video and vlog serve as some sort of like entertainment for you guys so i gotta get this workout in because i have a busy work day so let's get to it all right, you guys, so I moved my mirror uh, by the bathroom to kind of in the living room area just so you guys can see the Lululemon drip better and just so you guys can see the pieces better. So I'm just wearing an MLB cap at the top. And then as far as the Lululemon pieces go, this is the metal vent sleeveless top. And it's really nice charcoal gray, almost kind of like heathered uh, colorway, as you guys can see. I really like this. All the spring summer vibes, this is definitely going to be essential. I don't know about you guys, but I love tank tops and anything sleeveless, especially when I'm hitting back and biceps as well as shoulders and abs. So nonetheless, I really like this top. Super simple and it falls really nicely on the body. Yeah, and overall, I just really like it, especially with a subtle branding at that back portion right there. The reason why it's called Metal Vent is just because it has all of these, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like a ton of these mini holes. Anyways, and then at the bottom, we just have the Lululemon Surge Joggers. These right here, I've been having these. If you guys have watched my older videos, I actually worked with Lululemon before, and this is the same pant from like years ago. This guy right here, I can't speak highly enough. I Like I said, I've been having it. It falls so nicely on the body. It just kind of hugs me in all the right places and i just love again the little lemon minimal branding with a nice little logo right there has some zip behind and it gathers really nicely at the legs for a nice little taper so this is literally the only equipment that i'm going to be using and then to promote just additional sweat because we are just working out at home and it is a very somewhat light workout to kind of get that sweat going if you guys want to or if you have um i would definitely suggest wearing a sweat belt again just to get more of that sweat going so this in combination with this It'll be pretty nice. All right, so without further ado, let's get into today's at-home workout, shoulders and abs. Let's get it. All right, you guys, so we just finished up that. So now I'm gonna end the workout with this video right here, along with the Lululemon pieces that I'm gonna be wearing in today's workout. I'm also going to be uh, linking this video right here. This one is the six minute ab workout from Alex Fine. At the end of almost every workout is I just run this video and I just follow him along. Even though it's only six minutes, yo, like this right here is such a great workout finisher. It just really, I don't know, it just, it just kills me. So definitely do this right here. Um, but yeah, let's get it. And then just go here. So I just follow that.
Alright you guys, so it's later on in the day. We finished the workout and then I got cleaned up as you guys saw. Made my morning coffee as always. So we are in the second outfit of the day. This outfit right here is kind of like my take on a sporty work from home outfit. Of course, the whole outfit is from Lululemon. So at the top, we just have this metal vent short sleeve top. Um, I really like this top. This is basically the same thing as the sleeveless one, but obviously in a different color. I really like this light gray, almost white speckled vibe. Um, kind of like the mini holes that's all throughout the shirt. It's a nice breathable, lightweight weight top um it's just perfect again for spring and summer and not to mention like i said love the color and then these pants right here are also from lululemon and this is a pant that i'm super excited to share with you guys so these pants right here are called the license to train pant um the reason why i like these pants a lot is because not only do they feel nice on the body the quality feels really good as well it has a ton of pockets for like just everyday essentials it has a pocket here it has another one over here it has some like in the back as well and it also has like mini zippers as you guys can see um but the reason why i like these pants a lot is because not only do they look nice like i said and it can be used for working out and stuff because obviously that's what it's for but the reason why i like these pants a lot is because they look like trousers like so this is what it looks like right here it has a nice drawstring at the top so you can adjust it i'm wearing a size small for reference so as you guys can see it kind of gathers at the bottom like this so this is what it just looks like regularly without it being buttoned and then this is what it looks like buttoned i personally like both Alright you guys, so like I mentioned, even though today is Friday, I actually do have a lot of stuff. So now that the workout's out of the way and I like, you know, got nice and cleaned and freshed up and stuff, I wanted to share with you guys kind of just like more behind the scenes of what my work days are like. A lot of you guys always ask me like, oh, how do you stay motivated? Like, what do you actually do during the day? Or like, you know, just you guys just want to know a little bit more about my work and what it really goes down. So I have stuff on my computer and then I also have stuff on my phone. So let me show you guys real quick. So this is what my to-do slash daily task notes look like wednesday thursday so obviously we're on friday this is wrong because i was supposed to film this video yesterday but nonetheless today we just have to again vlog the whole day for this little lemon stuff and then my work stuff consists of a ton of emails and then i have to work on some new posts for my mood board instagram um solid studios if you guys don't follow that i'll sure to like throw up some bureau clips and just some screenshots of what that page looks like if you guys are kind of confused as to what i'm talking about and then every single friday what i like to do is start it was getting kind of awkward. I don't want you guys to just like be staring at my phone the whole time. Oh, actually, boom, I just found a new place to put my camera in my apartment. Okay. Oh, wait, it's kind of it's kind of short all right so on top of doing all of those things emails the new posts for solid studios the instagram every single friday and every single monday what i like to do is i like to review my content calendar and just make sure that everything is in line with what i have to do i like to schedule my shoots i like to make sure that everything that i'm working for is you know like in line it kind of fits the theme of like what season we're in so like let's say right now we're in spring and summer of course i'm going to align my content around spring and summer vibes like fashion like videos like vlogs and all that stuff um, so i have to do that today and then some other like more exciting and like mini stuff that i wanted to get done today as well is really deep clean all of my shoes so i'm going to take you guys along doing that as well and then the last thing that i need to do i have to actually pack up some merch merch orders and then head to the post office and drop those off as well Some more, yeah, something more, yeah. Cause the way that she be looking is amazing, and those lips are everything that I've been craving. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take a little break from work to kind of tackle the cleaning of the shoes task that I wanted to get through today. And again, apologies if you can hear the construction people outside, but nonetheless, they're the shoes I'm gonna be cleaning. I got some. So these shoes right here definitely need some TLC. Look at how dirty these are. If you guys know, if, if you're regular to this channel, I'm always in these Balenciaga traps. So therefore, it's super dirty. Um, I just got these new balances, the 530s. You know, they're not that dirty, but there's some few scuffs here and there. So I definitely kind of want to clean this bad boy as well. Because this is another shoe that I wear pretty often. And then I just got some other shoes down there. And then I also want to clean my triple S's. This is kind of the vibes for today. Let's see. And then like I said, I got some 
think stay open please thanks all right so in here like i said has all of my cleaning bits so i have a nice little rag to wipe down the shoes micro microfiber cloth and then this is the cleaning kit that i use this is from jason mark it just comes with the little solution that you put in a bowl or a cup of water I, I swear by this guy right here as you guys can see it's running pretty low in combination with the brush this is what the brush looks like right here kind of catch that vibe as well so yeah so this is kind of the situation right now so i'm gonna clean all of these shoes get them nice and fresh i'm gonna start off with these shoes because like i said these guys need the most love for sure so what i like to do is i just got a bowl of water right here and then i just be generous with it low key like i just be like <laughs> i don't know you're supposed to put that much it's probably why i don't have a lot but nonetheless that's what i do and then i dip the brush in it and i give it a nice little swirl like this I like to just kind of put a little bit on the brush and I have a rag laid down because it gets kind of messy and wet So you just take the wet brush as you guys can see it just go in like circular motions And as you can see it'll get like nice and sudsy and that's what you want So you just kind of want to work your way around the shoe and low-key I just be cleaning them like how I be cleaning my Nikes I honestly don't know if you're supposed to be cleaning it like this But I've been doing it like this for the longest time and it, it never fails me really like get in there, you know and what I like to do is I like to take it in sections. So as you guys can see, I'm working on the bottom part right now. And then I'll kind of work on the body. But you know, you got to take it one step at a time because you don't want it to be too sudsy. So you can't really see where you're cleaning, you know. Like I said, just take it slowly. And if you have to, go in like double, like go in for a second time. But the Jason Mark Cleaner is so is so good in my opinion like it does get it on the first try but you just have to be really generous with your hand and like really scrub it in there you know dude so literally my shoe was looking like brown and stuff like that all over here and now oh wow look even the toe even the toe part looks like cleaner too so yeah this is kind of like what it looks like for a first time around it's definitely not as clean as i wanted to so i'm gonna keep going clean just knew someone just had to say it Come and say it to you I bring out the new you Lace you up and love her down And give her something new, new Oh, oh So before you go Let me say some things that You in here before, baby Man, this is so satisfying It's like all the shoes got a nice little clean Like, granted, you know, they're still a little dirty But and i honestly think that the camera's not really doing it justice but yo these were filthy and now they're nice and white again so yeah and then for the most part every 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 other shoe just needed a nice little wipe down oh but these shoes right here were so dirty and i cleaned them like crazy these look brand new as well so yeah i'm really excited this is something i've been wanting to do for the longest time but i've been putting it off because you guys already know like cleaning shoes isn't the most like fun thing to do All right, what is up you guys? It's later on in the afternoon, like much later. Kind of close to like early dinner time. Um, girl girlfriend's <laughs> behind the camera right now. We're walking to one of our favorite sushi spots. I literally live like five minutes away from it. It's called Norin. Um, so we picked up some stuff for dinner because we got a nice little, like I said, date night vibe plan. We're gonna eat some sushi because it's our favorite. What's well, my favorite? And she's just dragged into it. Uh, so we're gonna get some sushi and then maybe watch like some Netflix, uh, play some Switch and all that stuff. So I'll show you guys when we get back to the house uh, what we got for the dinner. Where? 
Okay, you guys, so we just cut back from like walking over to the thing. So we had to show you guys what we got. So of course, you already know what time it is. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> got some chicken karage, some lemon wedges. My roll is called the super duper. So it just looks like this. You want to hit me with the assist. Thank you very much. Nice. Yeah, that's what that is. I don't, I, honestly, I don't know what it is. I just know there's a shrimp tempura roll in the middle and that's what I wanted. And then Kia got, what'd you get, Bim? Baked salmon. Well, it's called the rockin' salmon, but yep. it's baked and yeah. it's really this good. This is her go-to, mm -hmm. looks super good. And then we just got some iced tea going and of course some water. And then we've been watching this show right here. Let me know in the comments down below if any of you guys have been watching it. We're on episode nine and there's only 10 episodes. It's called Never Have I Ever. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good show. Yeah? Yeah, it's yeah? pretty good. Yeah. So we're gonna eat and just kind of like, you know, enjoy the night. So. Okay, guys, so we just finished watching uh, Never Have I Ever. You want to tell them that you cried? <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> Yo, she cried. Like at the end of the last episode, obviously. Loki, I almost cried too. <laughs> it was really sad. But on a lighter note, here's what we're about to get into right now. Here's what he's about to lose in. Wow. And Kia has this. Is it a theory? Or I she think it's true, okay? The smaller the character, the faster you go because they don't weigh down the card as much. Yeah, and I think she's and I think she's right. I used to suck at Mario Kart, but ever since I've been using uh baby Mario, I beat you several times, right? Uh yeah, you beat me. Only like a handful though. I'm better. So I always stick to circuit special for the cart and then I do slim for the wheels and then the kite is whatever in my opinion. Let me know down below in the comments if the if the kite even matters. Because I don't it matters when you're flying. Well, shit, okay, Mario Kart specialist. <laughs> oh, and then we always, let me show you guys this real quick. We <laughs> always play on 200cc, yo. If you're not playing on 200cc, you're weak. Like, slow. you're slow. This is where it, it is. 200cc, no teams, frantic items, and hard calm. This, this setting right here is where it's at. All right, Villa, you're gonna need it. You wanna bet on something? You should bet on something. What? Boba? Yeah, okay. loser has to buy boba. We do this all the Elder. time. Loser has to buy boba the yeah. next time. Oh, boost! Oh, no! I just got smashed. Freak! Second. Oh no! Was that? <laughs> yeah, that was really? me. No, was that you? Oh, first. Last round, last round, you guys. Last round, wait, where am I at right now? I'm still ahead by two points. Okay, this is it, last round. I'm necessarily a little bit like that. Oh. Yes! Did you win? I beat you. Did you? I got fourth, you got fifth, so I'm three points ahead. Oh. 35, 32. Thanks for the boba. Yeah. Okay. Dang, girl. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, you want to bring all of it? As you guys saw, we kind of set up the bed down here. So for any of you guys who watch my apartment tour, you'd know this bed actually goes, this sofa goes into like a sofa bed. So we always kind of chill here at night, whether we're like, again, playing Switch or watching stuff. We've got the things here, girlfriend's here, and then we, we actually bought this, the, not the other day, but we bought this like last week or recently. So Trader Joe's, Ube, Purple Yam, flavored ice cream. And then we had the Too Hot to Handle reunion. Cause like I said, we finished all the stuff or all the episodes. So yeah, it's the current vibe. 
You excited to watch a reunion and eat this ice cream? I am. I'm curious to see supposedly oh is that gonna be a spoiler no yeah don't don't, don't it. say it don't say it oh, okay yeah okay never mind all right you guys and that is gonna be it for this vlog right here like i said i'm about to just like Kind of ring in the night with the two hot to handle reunion and got the ice cream going and stuff like that but i just wanted to formally come on here and just like end the vlog right here big thank you once again to the team over at lululemon for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel coming through with all of these new workout like bits as you guys saw we got the event short sleeve and then the metal vent sleeveless and then my new favorite workout pant right here the license to train pant as you guys saw like when i was wearing it throughout the day and even when i was working out even if it's from home and stuff it definitely made the overall just like again working out and training and working from home vibe all that more like better once the whole corona thing like goes away and you know everything is safe and sound for us to go outside i'm excited to kind of use these in the gym and get a nice like workout and a nice sweat going and stuff so if any of you guys are interested definitely be sure to check out these pieces right here it'll be the first link in my description box down below and then i'll be sure to leave links to anything like all the other things that are relevant in this uh video because i know i mentioned like a ton of stuff give this video a thumbs up subscribe for more content like this and i'll catch you guys in the next one